Oh, oh no. Oh no, why am I zooming in? No, what are you doing to the pug? No, oh god. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Finapple and today I'm doing another episode of my Wishing Well Legacy Challenge. So this is a legacy challenge with a twist, the twist being that my sim Selena has to wish for certain things from the Wishing Well on certain days. So on Saturday she wishes for simoleons, Sunday for, she wishes for skills, Monday she wishes for happiness, Tuesday she wishes for simoleons again, and then on Wednesday it's Wild Card Wednesday, Thursday nothing, and Friday is Freaky Friday. So on Wild Card Wednesday and Freaky Friday, I roll the die to determine whether she wishes for romance, a child, grades, promotion, youth, or life. Whew. Oh my gosh, that was the second take of that, by the way. Um, but if you're confused by any of that, it's in the description box down below. So this is everybody. Um, they're all standing out here because I realized when I was editing the last episode that Zilstra, um, who I want to be a love interest of Corbin, um, is in, <laughs> well, he's not a teen like Corbin. And so like he was supposed to be, I like, I aged him up so that he would be a teen. Um, but it just didn't work. It, it didn't work. So, um, in the last, in the last episode, oh, poor Selena. Oh no. She's so sad. Look at her. Oh, she's looking around. Oh, well, now she's okay. Oh, she's gonna go cry in bed. So she is temporarily infertile. Not for very long, but it's super ironic because in the last episode I was saying, hey, it was Freaky Friday and I was hoping we'd like grow for a baby and we didn't. And I was really, like, I was like, well, if we don't roll for a baby, then we can, you know, do something, we can just have them conceive together. But <laughs> because the wishing well doesn't like me, that didn't work out. And so, you know, it, it just didn't work out. It really, really didn't work out because now she can't conceive. Um, but you might be wondering why I am in... Um, create a or build mode and that's because I'm going to add in a tub I mean we have a lot of money and um we might lose because tomorrow lose it because tomorrow is um Saturday wish for simoleons so I'm gonna have her you know take a bath with soaks so let's do um I think maybe lavender maybe that's calming but I'll have her treat herself to a bath because she's all ready for work tomorrow or like five hours and so she really just needs to calm down after that wishing well made her barren why would you do that why oh my goodness sad day <laughs> it's very reminiscent of season one where I was excited to roll for baby and Margot got increased fertility but because Margot is gay with um, her wife, <laughs> um, she couldn't actually conceive because I, I can't even, I can't, I'm still, I'm still upset about that. Um, but I guess it's okay because in the end we got Selena and Corbin through the adoption services of the Wishing Well. Um, but yeah, that was just, just my luck. So we have, I'm so, ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. We have, um, dragon fruit now. That's, oh, and we just made a lot of money from books. Um, so I'm wondering where I'm going to put all that money. Oh, and Selena made royalties too. Wow. She made $200 from a song that she wrote. Um, so I, she thinks she's good with everything else. So I'm actually going to have her write a song, um, maybe just another classic piece. Um because maybe that'll be good for her. But we, how many um, dragon fruits did we get? We got four. So I think once she's done harvesting like everything, I think we're gonna get rid of um, a lot of the plants except for the grapes and the dragon fruit because those are what will be bringing us money. So we'll just delete strawberry, apples, you are Snapdragon, Snapdragon, you are Grape, and you are Dragon Fruit. And then we don't need this 
been old, but then she's cute, but we have to take care of it. We'll put, well, we have lots of money, so we're, I'm going to put in a new tree because they can afford a new tree, and it's even better than the old tree. Oh, that looks cute. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really look that cute, but um, moving on from that, um, I'm trying to figure out what would be good to spend our money on. Um, oh, this works out perfectly. So we will have Connie um, plant that, plant that. Don't eat that. Don't. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So this is Corbin's. While leaving the bathroom, Corbin notices that his chief academic rival has left his notebook sitting on the sink. It's got notes, homework, and lots of other important information inside. Should Corbin return it to its owner or just toss it in the trash? Well, Corbin is a kind soul at heart. I mean, he is also a bit of a hothead. So, you know, I think, I think he's going to, even though he has a good heart, I think this hot-headedness is just going to be like, trash it. So let's see what happens. Losing the notes makes the rival fall so far behind. He comes to Corbin for help because everybody knows Corbin is the smartest. Corbin feels so guilty he winds up tutoring his rival during study time. That sounds a bit right. Oh, he's embarrassed. Ah. <laughs> um, but that actually sounds pretty accurate. Um, but we will just plant all the dragon fruits. Um, and Selena is already composing beautiful music in this beautiful outfit that I composed. Um, yeah. And Connie, oh yay! Or not Connie, Margo has finished the painting of Connie. That is gorgeous. So, um, we will now also put that up. Well, we need the walls all the way up. So, we have mostly everybody in the family now. We need, um, Marcus and... I'm going to scoot these over so they're not in the way of the stairs. But we still need... Uh, oh, excuse me. A portrait of Marcus and a portrait of Margo. Um, or not Margo, Corbin. Oh my gosh, so Marcus and Corbin. So unfortunately, um, neither of them are here right now. Um, so we'll just have her take care of herself. Yeah, eat that food. But Connie is fixing up the garden. I'm so excited um, to be getting gardens. And I think I need to get Selena working on the garden more too because, you know, uh, these guys are elders and so, you know, oh my gosh, the time is running out for them. I'm so sad. Oh gosh, I am super sad about that. I no, no, no. Why? Why do they do this to me? Wham. My. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm like a small child. Um, but we'll have her work on a book because we might as well, like, once she dies, we're going to stop making money off of books, which is really sad. So I'm going to have her write another book. Um, but yeah, I think I will speed through the day until um, after Selena gets home from work or maybe just when Marcus and Corbin come home. Either one of those two, but just because nothing else is really happening right now. And I have something pretty excited planned for um, towards the end of this episode. Hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> okay, so Corbin came home, and so I'm going to try and get um, Margo to paint a picture of him. Um, and I'm not quite sure what to have him do. I mean, he's also, like, pissed off right now. Um, but... I want you to go here, and then Corbin, I'm going to have him, I don't really want to mess with the easel position, so I'm going to see if I can get him to go here, and I think, because, I mean, he likes video gaming, so I think maybe I will just have him um, play a video game even, um, I mean, why not, if I can find it, um, play game. So let's see. Oh, wait, no. Turn around. Turn around and then play again. There we go. Okay. Play game. Okay. So hopefully this will be a good picture. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to look like, but I wasn't quite sure what else to have him do. 
Um, but he has his pink phone case, and that's really cute. Um, we'll go with it. It's weird. It's weird, but this family is kind of weird. Uh, but it captures him with his love of pink. <laughs> Um, so that's what Margot is going to paint. Oh, cool. She gets photography from that, too. Interesting. Um, but we'll just let Corbin be. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to, like, show you guys that little bit. And then I'm also going to speed it up again. Sorry for so many speed ups, but I try and keep these episodes under 20 minutes and I want them to be action packed. And so I don't want you guys to see just them chilling because it's not as interesting. At least I think. Wait, did you finish a book? Nice! Plus, also, Connie magically finishes books while you guys aren't watching. So, <laughs> um, yeah, but I will cut back because um, I think, when does Selena come home? She comes home at 9. I think that'll be okay. I think that's what we'll do. I'll cut back at 9, and we'll have something special happen. <gasps> no! No, it says it's almost Connie's time. Make the most of these final days. Don't do this to me. Don't do this. I'm invested. I'm invested. You look like you have so much more time, though. No, oh my god. My heart just stopped. Ah. <laughs> I'm glad that I keep recording while I'm like like going through the day because it's good for when this stuff happens and my heart just dies and so you guys can die with me oh god that sounded really bad but I was actually just getting Corbin over here to um, start painting so that we can finally get the last um painting in because Margo and Connie are really close in age and so they're probably gonna die at about the same time okay this is perfect I mean the the bathroom in the background has been unfortunate, but this is really cute. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to have a painting of every single member of the family, and the only one isn't that isn't going to be done by Margot is the picture of Margot herself. Um, and then here is the one of how Corbin turned out. That is a bizarre looking painting. I'm not going to lie. That is like really up there. But I also got this painting by Margot. I thought this was really pretty. So I figured we keep it because, you know, we want to keep mementos. Moment mementos. Oh. <laughs> I'm dying over here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't even pretend to laugh sincerely, though. I'm so sad. Um, we'll have Connie. Connie will hop in this bathroom and take a shower. Um, two, we hardly ever use this bathroom, and if you have no idea why this bathroom is here, I encourage you to check out, like, I think episode three or four, because this is the first structure that we built ever, and it looks ridiculous, and I decided to keep it. So, that's what it's there. I'm kind of planning to pass it down to the generations. Um, you know how it goes. Um, but these two are bonding over painting. Oh, God. It is too cute. Oh my gosh, this is already looking fantastic. His shirt. Oh, you can even see the paintbrush. Yes. I think you can also see the ghost too. But, you know, you know, you know how it is, how it goes. Um, and I think Selena will be home really soon. Uh, and I almost don't want to fast forward anymore because Connie is coming close to her time. Don't, Connie. Oh God, why are you doing, why do you two do the things that you do? Um, why don't you use this, the shower that's like right next to your room? Oh, oh wait, no, he finished that. I was like, oh, that looks okay. He is nowhere near, um, Margot's status of painting, but we'll actually just have Connie sell that to a collector when she comes home. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, who's gonna clean up the house? You should eat this, but you know who's gonna clean up the house once she's, once... Connie's gone and oh uh, 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 <laughs> my god I'm like dying over here I can't even oh we finished this painting of Corbin okay so at least before we all die we have all the pictures or the paintings up and so I think we'll move this 
I don't know when we're going to get any trophies, but we have this for when we do. So we'll just put that up there for now. Also, this nursery over here is so sad, but we can potentially wish for a baby, but we'll have this one right here. Um, I think we'll actually, we'll change this. Sorry, I'm so indecisive, but there we go. Cause she's kind of the main member of the house because they're going to die. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't even, but let's have, um, Connie, while you're there and living, we're gonna, or Margot, I mean, I can't even, we're gonna have her do, um, more paintings, because I really want to, you know, just decorate the house while we still can, especially because she's our founder, and, like, I'm too sad, I am, like, I'm, I will not be able to function, you know, I'm, I will not be able to function, I actually want to check something out, one second. So she has a few rewards, and so I'm wondering if maybe I should buy, can I buy a potion of youth? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. If you guys want to keep Connie and Margot around longer, I can buy two potions of youth with Connie's points, and I could give them to each of them, and so they could be younger again. Or are you guys ready to let them go? Please let me know in the comments down below. Like, I do and I don't want to, like, you know, let them go. But at the same, because, you know, I love them and whatnot. But at the same time, you know, maybe it isn't in the best, you know, the best thing to change them. But now that, now that you're finally home, it took you forever. Um, let's going to, let's going to. Not my best, um, but... We'll have her change into, I want her to wear something like, yeah, we'll have her change into this. And then Corbin, Corbin is going to change into something himself. And we were, we're going to be doing something un unexpected, you know, we've been waiting this whole episode. So let's see, where do I want them to do this? Let's do this right over here. Um, um, maybe somewhere closer. Yeah. Let's do this right here. Okay, so I'm going to have him go here. And I'm going to have her go here. And then Connie... Well, I'll have... Connie's free. We'll have her go over here, too. Um, and we're going to try something. This is so exciting. I'm so excited. You guys don't really know. You might know what it is. Um, you might not, but I'm really excited. Hurry up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Are you guys... Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this because I don't know if I am okay okay and oh my god I'm so excited we're gonna have her oh my god she can hear the music already um take a photo hopefully this works nope too soon too soon premature premature oh well that looks kind of cute too anyways but we will okay are you ready oh oh my god oh my god take the picture take the picture take the shot take it Okay, um, <laughs> I like, sorry if this is like a really awkward way to view this, but I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Got it. Got it. I got it, guys. We got the photo. Okay, exit out of there. And now we can, oh, look. Yes, you better say yes. Oh my god, what if he didn't? That'd be really awkward. Oh no, oh, they're so cute. Oh, yay. Ah, oh, my heart, my heart beats. Okay, and so I know this episode might be running a little bit long, but I think it is time for them to try for a baby because they can now. And so, oh my God, oh my God. This is actually will be the first time they've woohooed. Um, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> And the only reason for that is I actually feel really, really awkward having my Sims woohoo while recording. Like, there's something that kind of weirds me out. Also, to be fair, I've known these two since they were, oh yeah, <laughs> they just were like, yeah, let's go have sex right in front of their mom or her mom. But, you know, I've known them since they were kids. And so it's just kind of weird for me to have them get busy. Yeah. But I think it's time they... <laughs> They haven't done it yet. They're going to do it right in front of the bear, too. Are you are you a little pervert? You're going to watch? You're going to watch the whole thing happen? I guess I'm the same. But here they go. Oh, they've matched with their, their clothes. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh, it's the first time. Oh, oh no. Oh no, why am I zooming in? No, what are you doing to the pug? No, oh god. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Oh my god, no, I can't, I can't. I can still see it. Oh my god, undulating pug. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> why did I do that? Oh my goodness. Oh god, it's still happening. What? Why are you taking you guys so long? Jesus. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. What are you guys even doing under there? Goodness gracious. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm not gonna give, leave you guys on a cliffhanger because that's not my style. Well, it kind of is. I don't know. What's my style? I haven't been doing this very long, but now we're gonna watch her pee. <laughs> and let's see. Let's see. Yeah. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god, you guys! Yay! Oh my goodness. Oh, this is an interesting shot. But Selena, our founder, is pregnant, which is great because maybe the moms will be able to see their first grandchild. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A lot of fun stuff happened in it and a lot of heartbreak. But um, if you did enjoy the episode, feel free to give me a like, a comment, or subscribe. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!